I want to talk about something a little more important. I'm not quite sure how to explain this to you guys. I know that most of you who are watching this, you've never been exposed to this type of material. So, a lot of times, let me get the pickup line. Let me get the technique to get a girl's number. Let me get the technique to get the girl in bed. And it's very easy to tell you guys the techniques, the strategies, the tactics. But they don't work. They're not going to work for you if you don't understand the psychology behind them. See, I can map out and give you the method of how to pick up girls. The courtship process from meeting a woman to sex. From before and after to infinity. I can give you the strategies and the techniques line by line. I can tell you what to say. I can give you the script, the exact script from the time that you open your mouth to the time that you're walking away with the number. But again, if you don't understand the psychology of why this stuff works, then basically you're still in the matrix. That's why I can walk up to a girl, get her number in 15, 20 seconds, a minute and a half, two minutes, whatever. And, and for you guys who are spectators, you watch me walking up to the girl, starting a conversation, I get her number and I walk away. And you go, well, what did you say? But from my perspective, it's not about what I said. It's the, the way that I said it. It was the context that I delivered. It was the body language behind the words I was saying. It was the male to female communication. It was, it was the sub-communication that, that you didn't see. It's the matrix. It's the code that you can't see through yet. To put it in a way that you could really understand it, the words, let's say of communication as a whole, the way that one person communicates to another on a whole at 100%. The words are only 7%. The vocal tonality and the way in which I'm speaking to another person or to you, the listener, is 38%. So, it's not necessarily about what I'm saying. It's more about how I'm saying it. So I can look at you and I can say watermelon. I can talk about eating watermelon. Or I can look at you and say watermelon. Okay? I said the same word twice. I said watermelon and watermelon. If you read it on paper, you'd read watermelon and watermelon. But the way that I said watermelon, okay, the context is very different. Do you understand? It's not the words. It's the way that you're communicating those words. The word is like a container that you're going to put what you need to, the context, into and deliver to the target. But if you add 38% and 7%, that's not 100%. You're missing 55%. And that's the body language. Okay? So the body language, the way that I'm moving, is even bigger than the vocal tonality and that's even bigger than the actual words. So when you say, what's the pickup line? I can say the pickup line is high. And you go, that's not it, that's not it. It's the, it has to be more than high. Well, it depends on the way that you say the word high. If you walk up and go, hi. If you walk up and go, hi. 
okay, it's not gonna work. Because the tonality of going, hi, and the body language of acting like a faggot and going, hi, that's not gonna get a girl to go, oh my God, that guy's hot, I wanna suck his cock. Now I'm gonna say the same word a lot different. I walk up and I go, hi. I walk up and I go, hi. Okay, it's the same word, but it's the way I said it. It's the body language. Walking up with a square chest. Hi. Shake her hand. Give her a fist bump. Okay. Or again, hi. It's the same word. So when you ask for the pickup line, I can give you the pickup line. I can say the pickup line is, hey, I know this is gonna sound really random and out of the blue, but I saw you from over there and I thought you were absolutely adorable and I had to come over and meet you. My name's Ryan. And you go, that's, that, that's not it, it's gotta be more than that. You're right, it is a lot more than that. That's the line. But how about the vocal tonality? The vocal tonality is not the way that it reads. If I gave it to you on paper, it would say, as if I'm reading it, hi, my name is Ryan. I saw you, I know this is gonna sound really random and out of the blue, but I saw you from over there and I thought you were absolutely adorable and I had to come over and meet you. My name's Ryan. Okay, that's what it reads, but that's not the way that you say it. It's hey, you know, it's very dominant. It has body language involved. It's pointed right at her. Hey, I'm basically saying I'm a dominant monkey. I'm an alpha male and I'm choosing you. I'm the selector. Hey, I know this is gonna sound really random and out of the blue. I saw you from over there. I've gotta get back to my friends in a second because uh, it's boys night out. I'm not even supposed to be talking to you, but I just thought you were super cute and I had to come over and meet you. I'm Ryan, okay? I'm Ryan. I'm just fucking cocky. The fact that I could walk up to a girl and go, I'm Ryan. I must be the shit if I can walk up to a girl on the street and say some shit like that. She goes, who's this? Who's this dashing guy that just walked up to me and, okay, Mr. Cocky, like just picking up girls on the street? You know, that's in, that's from an, uh, an episode of Sex in the City. Samantha says that. Great, great um, display of a guy who actually went up and, and said something similar to that. Just walked up and said, hey, thought you're beautiful. Have dinner with me next week. My name's John or whatever he said. And she's like, okay, Mr. Cocky. Guess what? He got the number. Did he get a date? I don't know. But, but if you ever see that episode of Sex in the City, You'll get the idea, but um, again, understand it's not, it's not the word, it's not the line, it's not the pickup line, it's the context behind the line, it's how that you're saying it, it's how you're delivering it, it's where you're, where you're saying it from, it's are you listening to the woman, are you feeling her heart? As you're speaking to her, are you reading a script and trying to act robotic? and imitate someone like me who can do it naturally? Or are you actually walking up and you really like her? And you're talking to her like, hey, you're beautiful. I'm head over heels right now. I do really have to get back to my friends because I do really have some friends over there. And they probably think I'm crazy for coming over to talk to you right now, but I, you're adorable. And I would, I, I would love to get a chance to meet you. My name is Ryan, okay? Same line, but I just said that completely different. Uh, and every situation is gonna be different. Every girl that you that you deal with, if you come off like a robot every time, it's, it's gonna sound very, it's gonna be very disingenuous. It's gonna be just, like you're not really connecting with her. So not only is it a script, but you also have to know how to improv per girl. People think it's like, oh, I just follow the line and I use alpha body language. No, what about the context that like the girl that you're talking to now is different than the girl you were talking to five minutes ago and is going to be a different girl than the girl that you talk out in the next set. But I see guys keep going up and they keep saying the same line like they're reading a script, like they're a fucking robot. POAs, we, we call those guys social robots because they, it, it's all mechanical. You gotta improv. A pickup artist is a performing artist. 
If I go do a rap show, oh, you know, you guys know I'm a rapper. I got albums on iTunes and Amazon and all that shit. I've done shows in Vegas, but I've done shows in California too. The crowd is going to be different than Vegas and California. What would happen if I, you know, if, if my line on stage is, you know, what's up Las Vegas? It's a fucking party tonight. And if I go to California and say that same line, hey, what's up Las Vegas? It's a party tonight. They'd be like, what the fuck? You're in California. It's a different fucking city, a different venue. Okay? The thing, if I do a show in Las Vegas, I get on stage and I go, who's getting fucked up tonight? Where my weed smoker? Where the motherfucking weed smoker's at? I was on the strip earlier, man. It's hot as shit out here. <sighs> right? That's context for a Vegas gig. If I go to California, and I walk in there and talk about, like, you know, I was on the strip earlier. They're, they're like, what are you talking about? You would have to change it. I would say, man, I was out on fucking Sunset earlier. Now I'm connecting with that audience. So when you talk to these girls, it's again, it's not the line. It's, it's what you're conveying to her or what you're trying to convey. The, the words and the pickup lines that, that myself or another guru is going to give you is... It's like training wheels on a bike. But once you understand how it works and you understand the psychology behind it, that's when you can take the training wheels off. I've got up to a girl and said, booga booga. I just walked up to her, hey, booga booga. And she's like, what? I'm like, booga booga. That's what's up. How you doing? I'm Ryan. I opened with booga booga. I got her number. <laughs> okay, so it, but, it, but it's the way that I conveyed it. The fact that I just walked up and was like not giving a fuck. And I'm like, hey, booga booga. Like as if that was the thing to do. And she's like, okay, booga booga. Like she's headed back. So once you get good, you won't need the pickup lines. And that's why we try to tell you. It's like these aren't pickup lines or gimmicks. We give you the scientific, at least I do. I give the scientific, scientifically proven methods to get girls. I don't give you, I'll, I can give you a temporary pickup line. I could say, hey, walk over to the girl and you're gonna ask them this question, you know, if you guys had your own island, what's the first thing that you do on it? I could have you walk up to the girl, hey, what do you think? Black ninja or white ninja? I could have you walk up to the girl and, and say, hey, this is a random question, but I, but I need to know the answer. When you were a kid, did you used to ever eat those jelly bellies? Did you, do you remember how they used to give you a little card and it would have like, if you eat the vanilla one plus the root beer, it's like root beer float? Okay. Now, did you ever, now I can give you like a script like that, a little routine to, to recite to her. And, but, but, but for a while, like that's just, that's just, again, that's just the training wheels. But as you approach more and more girls, you start to realize it's not the words. The words is just letting your conscious mind fucking ramble on. But then you start realizing it doesn't matter what I say. I could be saying ridiculous shit, you know? But it's, it's more about is your body in a dominant posture? You know, is it more like are you establishing good eye contact with the girl? Are you demonstrating that you are of higher social status than the girl and all of her friends. It's things like uh, demonstrating that you speak well. Whatever the words that you're saying, are you able to uh, pronounce them right? Can you articulate? Can you pass on an idea? Can you say things that invoke humor and make all of her friends laugh? Are you able to, in your conversation, what we call multiple threads? So in the middle of your opener, all of a sudden you may throw an egg at your target. You might um, be talking to her about how she's absolutely adorable. And then you, um, you make a comment about like her earrings or something like that. I, 
I'll get into that shit. And another, I don't want to confuse you on this one, but I talk about nagging on a on another another vlog. But um, are you able to move from one subject to another subject and then back onto the same subject? I'm getting thirsty as fuck. I'm gonna go in here and uh, and get a drink because I'm feeling quite parched. So, um, but anyway, that that's what I'm trying to say here. It's not. Uh, it's not the words. That's not what she's paying attention to. She's paying attention to all of the subtle, 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 all of the subtle little, uh, little details to your personality. I could do something like that after what I just talked to you for like 15 minutes and then do a little like that now you're like wait a minute I thought this guy was all serious but now he's acting a little goofy there must be a little bit more to him can you throw out little bits of your personality like that you know don't take it too far you don't want to be animated but th th there's little stuff like that that you can throw in uh, you know and then she of course she's gonna be looking at other things like how is your hair did how is your how is your how is your outfit uh, are your did you iron your, your shirt? Does did you did you iron your shirt? If you did with uh, with an iron or a fucking rock, you know, did you, do you have creases in your shoulders? Um, you know, do you have things like a nice watch and a and a big belt buckle? You know, are the metals? She's gonna look like I have earrings. I'm not wearing them right now, but they're little little platinum with little diamonds in the middle. But overall, it looks silver and chrome. So if I wear rings, I can't wear a gold ring. It has to be silver, it has to be chrome, it has to be platinum or white gold. So it has to have that kind of color to match my earrings. You can't mix your metals. Uh, so if you have a belt buckle, you can't have like silver earrings or a silver necklace with a gold belt buckle or vice versa. Uh, a gold gold chain with a with a silver belt buckle so little things like that she's gonna notice um, you know if you sit down and you were wearing slacks and a, and a button-up shirt and dress shoes and if you sit down at the bar she will look down and notice when your pant leg pops up are you wearing black socks or are you wearing fucking white socks Okay, because if you're wearing slacks with dress shoes and a button-up shirt, you better be wearing black fucking socks. If you're wearing gray slacks, then you can wear like gray socks. But I, I would never suggest that you don't need gray slacks. But if you're wearing dress shoes, you need black socks, even if you're wearing blue jeans. If you're wearing blue jeans and you have dress shoes on, you have black socks. She will notice. If you're wearing fucking white socks, in your dress shoes you're out little things like that like little things like that will just tick a woman off okay she may give you a second chance or she may throw a shit test you go nice nice socks and you and if you start apologizing if you go oh I i'm sorry why would you be apologizing to a fucking stranger why would you give a fuck what this bitch thinks if you just look at it and go yeah yeah they are cool and then you just keep drinking she might give you a second chance to go oh shit like he doesn't give a fuck what i think that might be dealing with a real man here if you apologize about your fucking white socks you know you shouldn't have fucked up in the first place and worn white socks but if you did and maybe it was dark and you got dressed fast and your guy your buddy was like oh i need a wingman and you threw on some fucking your white socks with your fucking dress shoes and she sees you and then you apologize for it, and you go, "Oh, oh my God, yeah, it was dark. I, 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 I'm sorry. I, 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 I'll, I'll remember next time." <laughs> You're done, bro. You just made yourself look like a little bitch. You know. Even though what you said, contextually, made sense. Hey, you maybe you maybe you, were looking at it, and you're like, "Oh fuck, like I really fucked up." She's not your girlfriend. If you're just picking her up, she's just a, a stranger. 
she doesn't deserve that type of apology or that type of explanation. And as soon as a man starts explaining himself, a red flag actually goes off in a girl's head. Like, uh, beta male, beta male. Okay, an alpha male, a silverback gorilla who, who runs a fucking, I don't know if it's herd or tribe, or whatever the word is, for a whole group of gorillas. If a female gorilla gave him shit, let's say she speaks English, hypothetically, and she gives him a shit, like, because his, his fur was not combed, is he gonna be like, oh, I'm sorry. He'll just be like, like, whatever. Like, I don't give a fuck, you know? So it's little things like that. It's those little personality cues, social cues that she's looking for. Anyway, I gotta get a drink.